Hello again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Noob with the Brush channel. The internet's biggest underdog channel for AOS and Blood Bowl content. As usual, I am the host Jay. And midweek, rather than um, the legends in their own lunchtime, which I haven't forgotten about, I am getting back round to it. I thought I'd bring you another exhibition match from the RBBL, which is our local league. But before I go into the club, let me remind you that the channel has some merch for sale. If you go to Teespring and type in Noob with a Brush, you will see a array of t-shirts and mugs that you can get to support the channel. So, if your painting isn't complete, or your gaming nights are not complete, pick up some Noob way, just take it to the next level. But in all seriousness, now we've got a game against one of the veteran players at the club. Barry played it for so long. He's probably there when they done the rules in uh, Stone. So, before I go into that, let me tell you a little bit about the club that we are running the RBBL at. And the club that's graciously hosting us is the Rom the Gaming Club. If you're in the local area and you've got no club, come and join us because we've got D&D nights, we've got miniatures nights and if we can grow the club, I'm sure we can host more and more nights. But on D&D nights they also do Pathfinder I found out. So if that interests you, club details are up on the screen, get in contact, they're also on Facebook. Twitter and I believe they're on Instagram as well so get in contact with them tell them that the noob sent you so they know that we're putting the word out for them and now that I've said that it's time for the match I'm going to warn you guys there's a little bit of language in there so if you're a little bit sensitive to language please be aware of that and yeah Tonight's feature presentation. Enjoy, people. Hello. Hey. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Again, we've got a special RBBL for you. So it's me versus my friend Barry. Hey. And you are playing? Humans. Right. So it's going to be the same. It's going to be 100,000 gold pieces. Million. Million. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So a million gold pieces. A million gold pieces. Okay. Million gold pieces, and you would set it out how you wanted to. Correct. And we're going to get into the game now because we got the fame and game effects to do now, haven't we? Yeah. So let's get on. With it. All right, guys, we're going to get ready. So we got tails, heads, body. Mm -hmm. Which one do you pick? Tails. It's tails. Okay. Are you uh, receiving? Or you were uh, give it. <laughs> I can receive. Right then, guys, teams are set up. Barry is waiting to receive. Because he's a taker, not a giver. <laughs> so, we're going to decide where the ball is. And what we got is. It's two of them. Barry's ball that he lovingly painted and based. And we're going to place that here. Okay. So, do you want to do the honours on the rollers? Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, D68, yeah. Yep. One to the five, so that's there. And then, kick off table, yeah? Yep. Kick off table, we got six cheering fans. So that's an extra fan factor, isn't it? Uh, D3 and add your fame. And then whoever wins gets an extra reroll. Awesome. Let's sort that out and then we'll get back to it. Right. Unfortunately, Barry has got an extra reroll. <laughs> so, yeah. It's going to be a lot tougher for my team now. So, 
we're going into turn one and let's see how it goes for Barty the receiver right guys end of Barty's turn one and as you can see there's a lot of people having to do it nap box is still a bit empty so we're always thankful of that but I've got to try and make something of this uh, well chaos turn one and I'll see you on the other side right then guys quick turn one there's a few players turned turned facing skywards a few standing up but very cagey on my behalf because I know what Barry's like he's a very veteran player I'm not saying how old he is but he is a very veteran player so he will capitalise on any type of mistake. So I'm trying to make very little. So let's see how he goes in turn two. Right guys, end of turn two. We got a little bit overexcited. But as we can see, Barry tried to come down the pitch. But was met by a beastman. Another beastman come down and stole the ball. This guy's going to try his luck after probably. And some of the players managed to get back up and, well, just trying to be a nuisance. So, still all to play for. Barry hasn't stitched me up just yet. He's got people in his backfields that I'm not happy about. But it's turn three and let's see how it goes. Right guys, end of turn three. And there's a scrum going on down here. As you can see, Beastmen have lost the ball. But a scrambling in their defence, in the true Welsh way. We've got a pack of three running together by here. We've got a stupid ogre by there. We've got some chaos doing their thing over here. But I think I think Barry's got the goal in sight at the moment. So let's see what happens turn four, and hopefully I can. Stall him for like another turn. Fingers crossed. Right, guys, end of Barry's turn four, and nothing's changed except touchdown. One nil to Barry. We're going to reset now. Right, guys, it's going to be the start of my turn four. We've reset. From the touchdown, we've the game effect was high kick, so my beastman Don Bugger has collected the ball, and it's time to go on the offensive or at least put some players in the box because we're looking to have some rock outs in the knockouts. Here we go. I'd ended my turn four, guys. I got a bit greedy and tried to take out the ogre, as you can see, both down. It's going to be a turnover. I still got the ball. So that's always a bonus. But Barry's going to come charging at me now. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to be conceding another touchdown. Right, guys, end of Barry's turn five. We're both re roll less. Um, he's given me half a chance because he's lying down with the beasts. And we've got a nice spread. A couple of rucks going in the middle. And it's going to be my turn five. Let's see if I can try and claw back that one point. By turn eight. Got to start somewhere. Quick turn five. And yeah, I kind of... Well, politely I fucked up. So, yep. Lying down on the pitch, and I've got to try and keep a hold of the ball. So we're going to go into turn six, and I'll see you on the other side. End of turn six, and boy, am I in deep shit. Both down, no re-rolls, big open spaces, except for these two bastards that's going to attack my boy. He's got the ball, even though he's just dropped it, but he's got the ball. So, yeah, let's see what the damage is. Going into turn 7. End of Barry's turn 7, and, yeah, it's a 
Another gimpy looking bastard. Same guy as well. Uh, if this is a lead DP, he's looking wild. Well. Yeah, 2 0. Let's reset and well, let's try and take out some players then, is it? Moral victory chaos. Right, guys, my turn seven. We've reset because I've got I've got to come back from two nil, which we're gonna try and do. But moral victory is gonna be. I'm gonna kill that bastard. Let's see if I can do it. We've just had the high kick, isn't it? Oh, quick, quick snap. Sorry, that's how much I pay attention. Quick snap. So I've moved forward. And we're gonna take it to the team. So let's go. Turn seven. Right, guys. End of turn seven. I have a ball. For what little good is gonna do me. I've managed to put a few players down. So, well, it's not a lot gonna happen, but it looks like I'm doing something. That's half the battle then. So. We're going into the last turn of the first half, and let's see how how full the uh, the bins are going to be in a bit. Right, guys, it is the second half, so it's going to be Barry's turn one, and already he has the ball because of a touchback, because I'm a dunce that likes to kick the ball all the way down deep. It's going to be nice weather, and... I think I was I was changing weather when it was the game effect. So yeah, let's see how this half phase. So see you on the other side. Right then guys, end of the turn one for the second half. We're a bit all over the place. Barry is already down near my touchline. He's got a bit of the touchline fever. Going for number three. We got a few people, you know, taking a nap, but overall it's still, you know, anybody's scrum. So we're going into turn two now, and then hopefully, shit neck, but yeah, we'll break his neck. Break his neck. So let's see how it fares. Turn two. Right. Barry's turn two. So as we can see, there's still a few people down. But the spurg is in my touchdown zone. So as you can guess, it's not my night. It's three nil, and well, I think really that's the end of sport. But it's just out the meme now, isn't it? So yeah, let's set back up and kill some players. Yeah. Right, guys, start my turn two. We've Reset. I've got a hold of the ball for what little that matters when you're 3 0 down. The effect was high kick, so that's how I've got the ball. So let's see what damage we can do to Barry's team. So, Barry, which one was the one that scored the two touchdowns? That would be this champion. Right, target number one then. Right. End of my turn two. Thankfully, I still got players standing up. I still got the ball. For what little's going to do. But. Ogre's down. Scorer is close to the line. So he's going to probably dodge like he did last time. Because Barry is amazing when he comes to throwing dice. He's a lucky bastard. So, let's see what we can do in turn three. Right, guys, end of Barry's turn three, beginning of mine. As we can see, there's been a both down my ear. We just stunned, both licking the grass, because we're feeling a bit special. I've got to play it down on the wing. But I've been feeling, you know, I'm feeling optimistic about the old killing players part of the game. So it's my turn three, and let's see how that goes. Right then guys, turn three, it's very chaos now, because there seems to be a lot more of the humans down, than there is chaos, so, it looks like it's all coming up, uh, coming up J at the moment, so, 
Yeah, it's going into turn four, but he's got no rerolls. So let's see. Well, let's see what he can pull off. Turn four. Right then, guys, end of turn four, going into turn five. We have got a few more people down. It's. Well, they're down, ready to get back up. Not dead. Not knocked out. There's two in the seriously injured box, one in the knockout, the other ones I forgot to mention earlier. So, yeah, it's a little bit more chaos on the pitch, but I haven't been able to do anything with it. I'm as useless as, as the Italian rugby team. So, we're going into turn five, see what happens. No. Right then, guys, turn five took all of 30 seconds between us, because... Somebody actually failed a dodge roll for a change and is licking the grass. And I've actually got a guy in the touchdown area. So it's 3 1, which is pretty good. I'm out on the board. I'm happy with that. Let's reset and see what game effects are coming into play. Right, guys, we've reset. We get ready to go. Barry has got an extra reroll because he's a lucky bastard. So we're going into turn six now and see if I can maintain the injury spree. So let's have a look. Right, guys, turn six. And yeah, it's looking all J in the tackles. Except for the most important one, which was right here, which ended up a push. So yeah, not happy because. I can see another touchdown come in. So, let's go into turn seven. And what do you want to do, sir? Shall we, shall we do the dodge? Yeah. Come on, then. But it's okay, guys. We're on the board. Right, we've set back up, ready for turn seven. And I know you're thinking, considering I've set up, there's a few players down. That's because I managed to roll a blitz move. So you've had a free tackle on my players. So I'm already in danger. So let's see how we get on turn seven. Right, end of turn seven, going into turn eight. And yeah... Not looking good because I couldn't even pick up the bloody ball. So I wasted a re-roll on that. It's not going to matter because we're into the final turn of the second half. So it's just who can rock out in the knockout box. Let's see what the end of the turn is. Right guys, end the game. And yeah. Lost that. Fair and square. It was 4-1 at the end. And... Equal in the knockout box. So, yeah, we're both rocking out in the knockouts. So, I can't wait to play Barry again. So hopefully, it will be on a mini tournament and you won't push my pup in <laughs> again. And that's it, guys. That's the end of the game. And as you can see, Nuffle was not on my side that evening. Unfortunately, I could not roll to save my life. But Barry is an excellent player and I don't want to lay it all on the dice. He is a veteran player. He's a fantastic painter and he is a pleasure to play. So, I will be playing him again. And I believe he has put his name down for the tournament that I'm going to be holding on the channel. So, we will see more of him in future videos. But like, like I said, now... I can spend all week now lifting up my praise to Nuffle in hopes that my dice will be better in the next game. And if you enjoyed the content, guys, please like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, tell your friends about us and then hopefully they can enjoy the content too. Share us around. We uh we want to 
share our games with as many people as we can so it's, it's down to you guys this is the community channel done for the community by the community so it is nothing without you as I always say guys but now it's time for the shilling so we've got a patreon and we've got paypal i know at the moment there's a bit of a uh a thing with the patron at the moment because they are well they dictate in on and off their platform so if you were not interested in going through paypal uh patreon we've got a paypal link so thank you very much if you do give if you do not give we we'll still thank you for watching the content and passing us around every penny that goes into this chat goes to this channel is going back into the channel and we are going to expand it so it's not just going to be blood bowl it's going to be blood bowl aos possibly more but it's only if you guys want that so that's the end of my shilling and it was very bad this week um, don't forget we have got Teespring account as well so go over to Teespring type in noob with a brush get your noob on and I shall see you again see you on the other side people